Okay. Um, the next topic now, it, still on the topic of combinatorics and counting, um, is building off of the multinomial coefficients and the binomial coefficients to count what are called additive partition partitions of an integer. And right now what we're doing is, a lot of what we're doing is putting down basics that will come up later on in the course. So to see the direct combination to anything uh, in probability right now is, is not going to be easy. These are called integer compositions. So what I mean by that is how many ways are there to write n the integer n as a sum of k integers. k has to be less than n. So uh, taking in it where we take, take order into account. So we do So for example, let's say we have the integer seven and we wanna write seven as a sum of three integers. So how can one, here's one way to do it. Seven is equal to two plus four plus one. Okay, seven is also equal to three plus two plus two. And just to be clear, seven is also equal to four plus one plus two. So to bear in mind this first one, two plus four plus one, four plus one plus two, those are the same components, but they're in a different order. And so those are two different compositions of the same integer. So how many ways are we going to do this? Okay. So how do we think about this? So in general, we can think about it this way. If we have a number n, n can be written as one plus one plus one plus one. So the sum of n ones Okay, and there are n ones and n minus one plus signs. Okay, so there are n ones and n minus one plus signs. Okay, and what we need to do is we need it is we can choose, so we can choose which plus signs we want to use. So what I mean by that, so for seven, we have seven ones. One plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one, okay? So that's seven. And now to get a particular composition, we have to say, okay, how do we get two plus four plus one? Well, I can only use, I want, I can only use two plus signs, right? Because I'm only, there's only two plus signs here. Okay. Which plus signs am I going to use? I'm going to use this one and this one. And if I do that, what happens is that my components become one plus one, which is two. 
one plus one plus one plus one, which is four, and one. Oh, no, let me not use that. Um, and one, which is one. Right. Same thing here. Three plus two plus two. So I use this and this. Right. And I add the first three to get three. I add the next two to get two. I add the final two to get two. And in the final case, four plus two, four plus one plus two. I add the first four to get four. I add the, the I have just the, that, the middle one to get one and the last two to get two, right? So that's how we do it. So then this makes counting pretty easy in this case, because if we express n as just a sum of n ones, and we want to add, uh, and we want it to be a sum of k integers, then we have k minus one plus signs to choose from. Okay. And so in this case, in this case, there are n minus one plus signs that I have to choose k minus one from. Integer compositions, compositions of n with k parts. So we just used what we, we this was like solving a problem. This is an example of a problem you might have. And you can use, solve this using co concepts that we already know. And then I might say, well, how many in it, how many compositions of n are there in total? Well, this means I want to consider, well, integer compositions with one part, two parts, three parts, four parts, all the way up to n minus one parts, or uh, all the way up to n parts, right? Well, then I have to sum. So the total number of compositions of n is the sum, right? For k can go from one part up to n. And for each k, the number of compositions with exactly k parts is n minus one, choose k minus one. Now, what do we know about this? Right. Well, let's rewrite this. Let's be a little careful. Let's rewrite this as the sum from j equals zero to n minus one. Okay. Of n minus one choose j. So I'm just making the change of variables where j is equal to k minus one. Okay, why am I doing this? Because this is equal to the binomial, this is a binomial expression. If I write it as sum j equals zero to n minus one, n minus one choose j, one to the power j, one to the power n minus j, because ones multiplied by it together don't, don't, don't change anything. Why do I do it that way? Because I'm looking at this expression here, this binomial expression. I realize that this is a binomial expression where x is equal to one and y is equal to one. So it's x plus y to the power n minus one. And x and y are one here. So this is one plus one to the power n minus one. So this is two to the power n minus one. Okay, one more. Stars and bars. This is another classic counting problem. So now, 
How many ways are there? to arrange n stars and k bars. in a row. Okay, for example, star, star, bar, star, 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 bar, star, bar, bar, right? So this is one way to arrange seven stars and four bars. Okay, how do we do this? So this is different from above because we have a part here. It's not just an integer composition because we have a part here that has zero stars in between it. So it, 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 we don't allow for the possibility of having not having a one in between two plus signs. So this is a little different. How can we think about this? Well, let's let's try an example. Let's say we have six stars and two bars. What do I need to do? I have eight places that I can, I, I wanna decide where I'm gonna put my bars in this case, just to make it. Um, yeah, let's just make it easy by deciding where we're gonna put the bars first. And then whatever's left, we, we, it's, we have to put the stars there. So we have eight places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have to pick from those eight spots where we're gonna put two bars. So we say here and here. So we have eight choose two. And then of course, the remaining spots are gonna have, all. we have to put, we have six spots left and we have six stars. So it's six choose six, which is just one. So that's the answer, eight choose two. So in general, we have how many spots? We have N plus K spots. And we have K bars and we pick among the N plus K spots K to put the bars and the rest are stars. And so that is the answer. In this case, N plus K, we had six is N, six stars, two bars, six plus two, choose two. Okay, so these are two examples of how we can use the um, concepts we've already learned to count. Okay, so that is the conclusion of this first chapter on counting, combinatorics, basic combinatorics, basic counting, combinations, permutations, multinomial coefficients, and we're going to move on to the next section in the next lecture.